Brainy Wade presents 17 Psychological Tips to Read Anyone Instantly We are overwhelmed with information when we meet someone for the first time. It might be challenging to determine a person's personality type. It's crucial to comprehend how we communicate for this reason. Experts claim that 55% of what we communicate through body language, 38% through voice tone, and only 7% through actual words. This indicates that in addition to what a person's looks could imply, we must consider these three variables when meeting someone for the first time. As a result, pay attention to the following cues when you first meet someone if you want to learn about their personality. Number 1. Eye contact. The phrase, eyes are the window to the soul, is used frequently. The context is critical in determining the type of eye contact someone is providing you. For instance, if someone is literally fixated on you, that may indicate a love desire. On the other side, if you look someone in the eye and they are unable to return the gaze, it indicates that they are either nervous or that they have something to cover up. Nevertheless, if someone's gaze is making you uneasy while they are speaking to you, particularly if they are very motionless and not blinking, then something is certainly off and they might be lying to you. Number 2. Eyebrows. Take a look at someone's eyebrows to see how at ease they are. Your eyebrows are most likely to rise when you are surprised, worried, or afraid. When you're having a friendly, casual conversation with a pal, try lifting your eyebrows. Isn't that challenging? When someone is talking to you and their eyebrows are up on a topic that shouldn't logically surprise, alarm, or frighten them, it's a sign that they're uncomfortable. Number 3. Smile. The mouth can lie, but the eyes can't when it comes to smiling. Sincere grins reach the eyes, causing the skin around them to wrinkle and form crow's feet. The next time you want to determine whether someone is truly smiling, look for crinkles in the corners of their eyes. People frequently smile to conceal what they're really thinking and feeling. If they aren't there, something is being concealed by that smile. Number 4. What do they say when you first meet someone? If all they do is brag about their beautiful spouse or compliment their co-workers, odds are they're a very decent person. According to studies, people are more inclined to exhibit kindness, politeness, love, and good manners themselves the more highly they regard others. The opposite is also accurate though. Anyone who backstabs and labels people as nasty and manipulative is more likely to show these characteristics themselves. They might also have a history of personality disorders or depression. Number 5. Paralanguage, nonverbal cues like your tone, pitch, or speaking style are known as paralanguage. In essence, it's a flowery way of expressing that you should pay attention to how people express themselves. For instance, if someone responds to you in a monotone, they are probably detached to and uninterested in your idea. Another excellent example is the use of sarcasm. When someone utilizes sarcasm, they usually mean the exact opposite of what their words suggest. So, pay attention to the words they emphasize and the manner in which they express it. It provides you with a clear indication of what their genuine objectives are. Number 6. Side glance. People that are kind and receptive to meeting you will turn to face you and make eye contact. On the other hand, if you've just met someone and they look off, eye to the side right away, that's a subconscious body language hint that they're trying to get away. Number 7. Frequent nodding. Usually, when someone nods, it means they agree with you. However, excessive nodding could be a symptom of concern for approval. When you're explaining anything to someone and they nod a lot, it's a sign that they're worried about what you think of them or that you have doubts about their capacity to listen to you. On the other side, frequent nodding could also be unintentional signals to the other person to move on, similar to when someone continues checking their watch or fiddling with their car keys. Number 8. Chin and jaw. People often rub their chins when they are attempting to decide anything. They could be gazing upward, downward, or to the side. They are undoubtedly thinking deeply because of this. An indication of tension is clenched teeth. Regardless of what they are saying, this shows a significant amount of discomfort. The subject of their anxiety may come up in conversation, or perhaps their thoughts are elsewhere and they are concentrating on the stressful situation. Number 9. Posture, you can tell a lot about someone's confidence from how they carry themselves. For instance, if a person walks straight ahead, with their shoulders back, it suggests that they are confident in themselves and feel good about themselves. 
When someone walks, it conveys a very different message if they are hunched over and gazing at the ground. Although it may not actually indicate low self-esteem, that is the message it conveys. Number 10. Rubbing hands, it is thought that what the head is thinking is transmitted through the hands. Typically, when someone rubs their hands together, it indicates that they are feeling good about something. People typically act in this way when they are enthusiastic and hopeful about a positive future development. Number 11. Handshake. A handshake can reveal a lot about a person. They are prone to be weak and sluggish as well as submissive. They may be dominant kinds if they are too harsh and crushing. The duration is also significant. Incongruous if it's too long, but conflict if it's too short. It's conceivable that they are not interested in developing a close relationship with you. However, it might also imply that they are pressed for time. Number 12. Leaning in or away, when someone leans closer to you, it's obvious that they are listening to what you have to say. You might be surprised to learn that it's also a respect signal. People that wish to confide in you will approach you more closely and lean in while speaking to you. It gives you a sense of reliability and worth. However, if someone reclines, they indicate that they are bored with the talk or perhaps that they are uneasy for some other reason. Number 13. Holding the baby, okay, this may seem unusual, but it's important to know. Look at the arm they use to hold the infant if you're meeting someone for the first time and they just so happen to be a new mother. According to studies, happy mothers frequently hold their infants in their left arm. Mothers who are anxious or depressed typically hold their children in their right arm. Number 14. Crossed arms and legs. Have you ever engaged in conversation with someone whose arms or legs were crossed? It's not a good indicator whether you're on a first date or if you're attempting to sell someone a fresh idea. Physical obstacles like crossed arms and legs indicate that the listener is not receptive to your message, even when they are grinning and conversing in a friendly manner, their body. Language conveys a lot, crossed arms or legs psychologically indicate that a person is physically, mentally, and emotionally cut off from what is in front of them. On the same note, a person's foot placement might disclose a lot about them. When someone likes you, they will stand with both feet pointed in your way. In contrast, if their feet start to move in the direction of the door, they are ready to depart. Number 15. Shoes, you can learn a lot about a person's personality from their shoes. It seems that we all have opinions regarding people's shoes, but research indicates that these opinions are generally true. Nervous people will wear brand new or immaculate shoes. Friendly people will don sensible shoes. Calm people tend to like uncomfortable footwear and combative individuals dress in ankle boots. Look at your own shoes please, do they fit with your personality type? Number 16. Overall appearance, someone's appearance and mannerisms might reveal a lot about them. A person may be particularly detail-oriented if they have neatly styled hair, pressed clothes, and show attention to fashion. Someone who dresses more casually or has bedhead might be imaginative or simply disorganized. Take a look at someone who is unclean and smells bad. They may just be incredibly lazy. Number 17. Copying body language, it's likely that you haven't noticed this if you've never attempted to read people. But in the future, pay great attention to it because when someone imitates your body language, it indicates that they admire you so much that they want to harmonize with you. It indicates that the exchange is going well and that the other person is paying attention to what you are saying. Since nobody wanders around with the goal to blatantly mimic someone, this is done unintentionally. However, when we feel at ease around someone, we often follow their lead. Some of us are quite adept at interpreting the cues that others give out. Others, though, are so terrible that they require the other person to open up and frankly express what is going through their head. It's difficult to read people, but if you can, it's a wonderful skill to have. Of all, everyone is unique, so it's not always possible to accurately read someone else's words and behaviors, but maybe these pointers will put you well on your way to improving your ability to read people. We're interested in your opinions. What is the first thing you typically observe about someone when you meet them for the first time? Tell us in the comments section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with friends so we can make more videos. Click the subscribe button to see more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well.
Thank you for watching.